from the Q Dance headquarters. And Demian presents. Demian presents. We are the Night Breed. Night Breeds, you're tuned in to the 21st episode of We Are The Night Breed. Today's show is co-hosted by Digas from Digas & Redon. Wave to the camera, tights. This month, we have new music by Bass Chasers, Guns For Hire, Active Rage and many more. Our interview will be with High Voltage and our studio guest today is Mr. Unleashed, Digital Punk. We're kicking off the show with a fresh hardstyle tune by Audio Freak, coming soon on this album, Audiology. This is The Grid. Immerse yourself in a digital frontier. A new world of limitless potential. decision.
kick's about to rock ya Welcome to the world of hardstyle, motherfucker Check out the style, punk This is off the chain, mate. Nah, wait, that's trap. Get your fucking facts straight. Welcome to the world of hard style, motherfucker. Check out the style, punk. To the world of heart style, motherfucker Follow us on wearethenightbreed.com To the world of hard style, motherfucker Check out the style, punk We love the vibe of this track. Welcome by Hard Driver. Great kicks, great drop. We're definitely definitely playing this track in our sets. And before that, you heard the grid by Audio Freak. An incredible, inno innovative hardstyle tune with a very impressive video clip to it, especially if you love the video games. So go check that out on YouTube. And we look forward to the album by Audio Frick, which will be released at the end of the year. So Thijs. Yes. Yes, you are co-hosting the show today. How does it feel to be in Sebastian's chair? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah, good, yeah. yeah? Pretty good. Yeah, kind of nervous, but ah, it doesn't matter. Ah, don't be, man. It will be over. Yeah, don't be. Sebastian sucks at uh, ball, so uh, no, no worries uh, about that. We know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I want to give a shout out to all the people who are listening right now. Thanks for joining us. And remember, you can check our Facebook live stream on facebook.com slash Music to watch along with us from our studio. Thijs, you better start doing some work yes. and read some comments of the live stream or shout outs, whatever. Okay, we got Stefan Peitler. Uh, your raw style is brilliant. Love to hear new tracks with Adaro and Degas Ridon. Well, that's coming very soon. Yeah, cool. Next week. Yeah. Uh, we got Norman. Yeah. Norman, say hi uh, from yeah Unleashed Soldier, my Twitter username. You should know me. Your album was sick. I guess this one is for Rene. Uh, you should play. You, you should get a Grammy. Oh. You should get a Grammy, René. Oh, René, yeah. get a Grammy. Get a Grammy. <laughs> uh, we've got um, Charlene. 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 This is who we are. Raw to the bone. Greetings from South Africa. South Africa. We got a lot of people from... <laughs> Another one. Yeah. <laughs> you have family in Africa. South Africa, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, we yeah. have Alex. Shout out to all the Aussie hardstylers out there. All right. Cool, Woo. cool, cool, cool. 
Well, I think for now it's enough. Big thanks for tuning in to the show. Remember, you can watch us live on Facebook. I just said it. And Digital Punk is in the studio right now. So if you have some questions for him, drop them now on the live stream and we can ask them on later in the show. Now we're going to switch back to the music and it's time for the newest and Demian track we made. Every time we play this track, the crowd goes nuts. So we're really glad you guys like it so much. If you haven't heard it already, now's the moment to open your ears and enjoy the new Endymion. Fuck up the party. The roughest, toughest, and craziest tracks in raw hard style. We are the Nightbreed.
wearethenightbreed.com.
Death was blinded, the collab of Randy and Alpha Twins, taken from the Alpha Twins album Recharged. And before that was our new solo track called Fuck Up The Party. We hope you liked it and if you do, you don't have to wait long for this release because it's due to be out at the end of November. Let's check in with the Nightbeat crew on social media. Thijs, read some of the comments you found, please. Yes, yeah, well, uh, we got uh, Luis from Los- watching from Los Angeles. Yeah. That's a very cool thing. Cool. We got- we got people from Switzerland, Australia, South Africa, Germany, yes. England, wow. Scotland, Scotland, France, Vive la France, Vive la France. And yeah, all over the world, man. All over the world. Yeah, I, I see here Hardstyle USA wants to give a shout out to Hardstyle USA. That's nice. And Dominique Raanhuis says shout out to Digos for always saying no except for the beer. Ja toch. Tell us the story. What's the story behind that beer no shaking? I, I don't know. I, I had a friend and uh, uh, he always, when, when we were together, he would always send me a Snapchat uh, yeah. uh, with me in the background uh, doing some something stupid and then he would point the camera to himself and yeah, sh- shake his head and drink a uh, drink a nice cold Heineken. And I don't know, I just picked it all up and uh, now and every gig I, I do the same thing with the crowd. And people love it, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get a lot of uh, good feedback on it. So that's uh, cool. That's cool. And for something stupid, I like stupid things. Yeah, you are stupid. Yeah, so I that's why we asked you for the show. Yeah, yeah. People keep sending the shoutouts on Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Doesn't matter. If you have questions for Digital Punk, he's in the house. So we're gonna ask them later. Just drop them to us, and we will deliver them straight to him. Yes. <laughs> Once again, we want to thank you all for the support of the show. You guys are awesome, and that's the reason why we do the radio show live to get your feedback while we do it. So make sure you keep doing what you're doing we're going to play the newest remix from the bass chasers right now the remix star track nightcrawler which we released last year on night read records the remix was released this week so go grab it on spotify hardstyle.com beatport itunes whatever the fuck you want and we're going to play it for you now this is the bass chasers remix of nightcrawler and demian presents are the night breed.
Y'all ready for this? Bring that heat. Let's start the madness. Y'all ready? Let's go. Follow us on wearethenightbreed.com. Ah. I'm gonna make you sweat. Summertime, y'all bitch, y'all. Yeah. Y'all ready for this? I got the sun on my mind. And I'm ready to break Got the gear in my pocket Then I'm head up to space I got my crew by my side My DJ's wrecking the stage This motherfucking summertime Ready to engage <laughs> track by Randy and it's called Motherfucking Summertime. A great track to release in the winter. A great production <laughs> with a very summery vibe. It makes us feel like, it makes me feel warm inside, you know. Even if it's cold outside, this track makes me feel warm. Before that, you heard the Bass Chasers remix of our track Nightcrawler. And as we said, the track is out now, so go grab that thing. And the Bass Chasers have one thing to add. They want to give a shout out to the Tuinbau. So here you go. And on the <laughs> phone, we have Mr. High Voltage. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Yeah, you know, base chasers, they always come up with stupid shit, so... Tuinbau. Yeah, Tuinbau. Garden building. I don't know if our fans will <laughs> understand that, but... No, who don't speak that. Dutch, but fuck up. Hey, uh, Aaron, uh, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, actually. Yeah? Are you a bit relaxed now, now the album is done? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> so, man, did you see that we have Thijs as our co-host today? Instead of uh, Bas? No, uh, Hi, Aaron! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> Do you think it was a smart move to ask Thijs or? Uh, uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, is this his first time or what? Yeah, it's his first time. Yeah, it's okay. But 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 the man made a nice remix for your album, Signs of the Apocalypse. How did that? Uh, yeah. What do you yeah, think well, about uh, the track? Yeah, I I, um, I asked the question to uh, to them for making a remix of uh, Death Is Coming, and I think within two three weeks. I got the, the first master of the of the remix and yeah, it was pretty good actually. And I played it at several parties from uh, uh, during the summer and yeah, there was it, it was well received. Yeah, 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 definitely. Thijs, do you have something to, to say about the remix or? 
Yeah, now it uh, all came together very quickly, and and we just made dice. I think it was the first track that we made after Die Slowly, and we yeah. were yeah we were in a good vibe, and yeah, yeah you, you can yeah you can hear it on the track. Yeah, you yeah. can definitely cool. hear it. So, Erwin, uh, I don't know about you, but we have been swarmed with questions about when the album is going to be released. <laughs> when? Yeah. Tell us! Yeah. So, can you, <laughs> can you reveal something about a release date or what's going to happen in the next month or two? Yeah, I can uh, reveal the date that it's going to be released. Yeah. And that is on the 7th of December. The 7th of December, the new High Voltage mm. album. Yes. Are you Just excited? After, after Sinterklaas. <laughs> Just after Santa Claus, <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> it will be a nice uh, Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what are we gonna do right now? We're gonna we're gonna start previewing soon. Uh, do you know when the first preview will be out? Or uh, we're waiting for uh, for the trailer. That's uh, I think that it's about to. I think next week. All right, next week I trailer think. time. And then, yeah, the and then it's all to, then it's uh, it's time to to preview the whole the whole shithole. Yeah, yeah. And then release it, and then again a preview. I don't know. Yeah, I can already say to the people it's rough and it's brilliant. So make sure you're gonna check it out. <laughs> and uh, Aaron, I suggest you're coming by to the show next month. We're gonna talk yeah, more about the album. I'm coming over and yeah. I'm gonna fuck up the place. We're gonna sorry. play some tracks from the album, and uh, we're gonna make a release party edition of the show for that. Yeah, cool, man. Yeah, cool, man. Cool. Thanks yes. for calling in and uh, no see you next month. Yeah, man. All right, later. Oh, Yo, bye. Oh. Yo, Thijs, uh, since it's your remix, do you want to introduce the track? Yeah, Maybe with I a nice story or? Yeah, this is the first sign of the apocalypse. This is the first sign of the apocalypse. That's a nice one. Yeah. What's the title? Death is Coming, Deagles and Redon Remix. So we are the nightbreed.com.
Yo, this is Active Rage, and you're now listening to my brand new track, Gangster for Life, and we are the Nightbreed.
Guns for Hire are back and definitely not showing any mercy with this new track. We shouldn't even have to tell you what song that was because No Mercy might be one of the biggest hardstyle hits of the year. My words are. I can't make you move to my Before that was Gangster for Life by Act of Rage, a very powerful track, amazing mind. This is more artist. We absolutely love it. And before that was the Degas and Reno remix of Death is Coming by High Voltage and Titan. Well done with the track, guys. We really Thank like you. it. Thank yes, you. we do. It will be out in December on the High Voltage album called Signs of the Apocalypse. Thijs, you're watching the stream, uh, what, can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, uh, yeah, we got some good uh, feedback on uh, Devs Coming Remix. Uh, oh. Finally a track without kick rolls all over the place. Cool. Uh, well done, great job. Um, wait, Redone is actually Red One? You ruined my childhood. <laughs> Very sorry, we, yeah, we tend to do that a lot. Um, let's see, have you ever been, uh, I think this one's for, for René. Um, shout out to Ian and Paul from Nottingham United Kingdom. All right. Cool. Um, Someone yeah, we got we, Mr. Rebellion Gary. Yeah. Dicks out for Adma. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gary. Thanks for Thank that. Thank you. <laughs> and I think the last one is Digital Punk is so into it. Yes, yeah, he, well is. he is. I see someone is asking, how can I have Digital Punk's hair? Yeah, uh, uh, impossible. Uh, impossible, <laughs> he says. Only you can only get that haircut and run them. Um, <laughs> I see Joey Murphy saying shout out to my fellow Hardstyle fans in the QSA. We have some nice news for you all in a bit. Uh, Rick Ross says shout out to my girlfriend Kaylee. I love her. And delete. Uh, blah, blah, what? Peter Hubert says shout out to my babe Rebecca for ra- for raving me into the ground. <laughs> At events uh, and again and again, keep dancing s- forever. I love you. You said raping me? No, graving. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> raving, raving me. Oh, raving. <laughs> yeah, raving. Well, thanks so much, people, for uh, getting in touch with the show. Uh, if you have a question for Digital Punk and which is not about his hair, just put it in the comments right now, and we'll ask him later. Uh, Thijs, next tune, you know everything about that one. Tell yeah. us something about it. Yeah, well, we recently finished a new track called yeah, Straight Gangster Shit. So, mm. yeah, w- yeah, we're about to drop this one here. All right, and how did you, uh, what was the inspiration for the track or just. No, it was just drums. a track. Yeah, no, we made a, a first part and we took out some focus from the internet and yeah, <laughs> out came Straight Gangster Shit. Yeah, but, but be- before that, you, you, you finished the track and. We wanted to release it, and you guys said no. We want to yeah, make it no, even better. We're gonna yeah. make another one. We uh, we still have wake up. Um, it was the surprise track on Nightbreed uh, two months ago, I think. Uh, uh, yeah. But we were li- we were in the studio. And we said we can do better than that one. So we came up with straight gangster shit, and yeah, it's been received very well among uh, all the artists. Yeah, it is. It is. So we're gonna play it right now, ladies and gentlemen. This is Crack Hoor and Redon straight <laughs> gangster shit. Yeah. This shit'll make you move. This could be on tonight. Make you rock and roll. Straight for the soul. Stand the fuck up, cause we about to get it on. Bass sounds like. Straight gangster shit. This shit is absurd. Fuck what you heard. Fuck what you heard. Straight gangster shit!
shit <laughs> which roams the earth alone. It is half man, half bear, half pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. Half man, half bear, half pig. Half pig, half pig, half pig, half pig, half pig. Man, bear, pig. to educate you about the single biggest threat to our planet. You see, there is something out there which threatens our very existence and may be the end to the human race as we know it. I'm talking, of course, about Man Bear Pig. It is a creature which roams the Earth alone. It is half man, half bear, half pig. The Man Bear Pig has been unleashed upon the world. We love this mistrack so much and we are very proud to see it sitting on the number one spot on Hardstyle.com for five days straight in a row. If it weren't for the Climax Anthem, he would have a number one hit for sure. Great job, Eugen. Before that was the newest Degas and Redon track called Straight Gangsta Shit, coming to Nightbreak Records on November 15th. And now let's make some goddamn studio noise for our studio guest this week, Mr. Unleashed Digital Pie! So, yo, Rene, what's up? Yeah, all good, man. And you? Good, good. good Thanks good. so much for coming over. Uh, uh, you have quite an amazing year. Uh, before we dive in deep on everything, I want you to describe this year in five words, if you can do it. Fucking. <laughs> I knew that was the first <laughs> word. <laughs> uh, the best fucking year ever. Yeah. Five words. So. Five words. Five yeah. words. Man, I agree. You've had so many... So much news this year, it's insane. First off, your album Adapt or Die. I think it's safe to say the album was a great, yeah, incredible success. Am I right? 
Uh, yeah, there was one track that wasn't that good. It was Stand yeah. Up and Fight. I, I heard <laughs> you missed all these shows. <laughs> uh, uh, no, the, no the, uh, the album is, yeah, it, it's, it's uh, turned out to be um, yeah, more than expected, actually, because uh, yeah, when you do an album, you don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. But um, in the process, I, I, I knew that it, yeah, for myself, for my standards, it was going to be fucking great. And uh, then, then I could make more music, you know, like... Um, not a, not with that much pressure, you know. So just yeah, just, yeah. But what was so surprising for me is the amount of tracks you made in such a well short time. Yeah, in yeah in a short time. How how is that possible? Because they all sound great and you made them really fast. Well, um, I was really on the roll uh, from about a year ago, I guess. Uh, I, I renewed my studio. Um, mm-hmm. Before I, I, I was sitting in a, in a, just a normal studio for like uh, six years or something, I, I thought it's time for change. Yeah. Uh, when I did that, uh, yeah, the the, the, stu- the the tracks came out rolling, and um, I also made uh, the, like eleven Public Enemies tracks with yeah. Uh, with uh, yeah with Freak Hard Drive. So yeah, yeah, it's been a busy year, but um, yeah, it's it, at one point I was asking myself, isn't this going that f- uh, too fast? But no, 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 it is. Yeah, I'm very happy we're on the album as well with Stand Up and Fight. And yeah. I think we should plan another collab soon, but we already yes. spoke about that for yes. a bit. Yes. You just mentioned your new live act uh, called Public Enemies with Hard Driver. You launched it at Cubase, you brought it to Australia, and Saturday you guys will play at Super Bash. How do you feel about the act so far? Is it different for you to do this live act uh, yeah, than performing solo as a DJ? Well, yeah, of course. Um, it's It's been different, uh, but that's also very refreshing. That's uh, something uh, Freak and I really wanted. Yeah. Uh, I already had this plan for like 10 years or something because um, yeah, I was raised, definitely raised by Neophyte and Evil Activities yeah. who done uh, lots of live acts. So yeah. that was in my system and um, like last year when I started to make so much music, I thought, well, this is the time yeah. to do something next to it. And then Freak and I started talking and we're close friends. And yeah, so one thing led to another actually. Cool. Very cool. Something that's cool as well. Uh, we heard you're doing a remix for the video game called Dishonored 2. Yes. That's something that doesn't happen every day in no. the scene. No. How, how did that come about? Well, um, that man right here, yeah. my friend. Uh, look at look at the, look at the live stream. Yes, Rob? look at the live stream. Rob, Hi, works for Rob. <laughs> yeah, you're my friend. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Rob uh, is a very close friend of mine, and he um, works in the gaming industry. Yeah. Besides other things, but. Uh, yeah, and one thing led to another again, and he um, Bethesda asked me to do a remix for the project uh, Dishonored 2. Cool. Um, which was a dream come true for like a fucking game addict. Yeah, I don't know where, yeah. to, where to look. Do I look to yeah, you? Yeah, right? I don't know. <laughs> I can do I it too because the live stream. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a was a big yeah big honor for me to make the make that track, and um, it's actually actually it's already done. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very happy with the result, and especially to use all those, um, yeah, you know, the, the the sounds and things that they used for the original main theme song. Yeah, to cool. to to use that in a in a remix is fucking awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah. When uh, can people expect to hear it? Uh, next week on Unleashed. All right, cool. Unleashed. So tune in to Unleashed <laughs> next week. Yeah, yeah, promote it, man. <laughs> Fuck it. That's a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thijs, you, you have been watching the live stream and you saw a question for Renee about the USA. Yeah, and I think it's a question for both of you. Yeah. Uh, and you can laugh. Yes. You promise? Okay. Then I'll go. Okay. Uh, no. M- Melina R. Cox. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to the States before? If not, <laughs> where would you like to go? Well, uh, this is going to be my fourth time this year. Yeah. So I've been three times already um, and I fucking love the USA. Me too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah I love it. I and w- we're yeah. going. Uh, this Is it this month? Yeah, this, this, yeah, this it's month. Yeah, in two weeks. I think. Two weeks we're doing Los Angeles. Uh, yeah. uh, and Demian and I, uh, we're doing the Unleashed Offensive Tour. And there are two more shows coming in the USA with Endymion. In January? Yes, hopefully that is all going to be uh, yeah. going to go through. But Maybe we're speaking too yeah, soon, but, but fuck l- it. Let them, you know. Put some uh, pressure on yeah. them. But uh, Los Angeles <laughs> is going to be fucking great. It's going to be on Los Globos if you're there. Come, Come see, us see us. The 19th of November. It's awesome. It's going to be awesome, I know. I, I see a question from Tessa van Dalen. Who's your biggest role model and why? New fight and new activities? Uh, well, in the beginning, yeah. If I look back at 10 years ago, that was definitely my role models, like the Beholden um, uh, Max Enforcer. Yeah. 
Um, I started doing Hardstyle in 2003, and that was about the year that they made the Bigger, Better, Louder anthem. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. one was I, for my, for me for the standards at that time was huge. Insane. Yeah, I agree. And. Um, yeah, I, that was something I really wanted to sign uh, at, and I did one or two tracks, and they mm-hmm. signed me immediately. So it was for me a very big dream come true. Yeah, so well, was that a song that got you into hardstyle? Because that's what Jul, Jules Dams wants to know. Yes, uh, uh, definitely one of the tracks that really got me into producing hardstyle. Yeah, I was already uh, doing a lot of production for bands and you know commercials and that kind of stuff, and I got uh, somebody introduced to me to Hard House at that time. Yeah. And that was one of the tracks that got me into Hardstyle because I already knew that it was so fucking amazing and so much production work. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, one of the tracks that got me into Hardstyle, definitely. Cool. Yeah. And I have one more question. Yeah, I have a lot more questions, but I think people want to hear you play as well. Peter Stewart says, uh, love for digital punk. Where do you think music in the hardest styles will be in the next five years? Is, is it gonna get bigger? He wants to know. Or well, it, I get this question uh, a lot of times the last three months. I actually I don't know why, but maybe people are getting concerned about where it's gonna go. Mm-hmm. Um, it's definitely getting harder at the moment, but we see that you know tracks that we make. I, I guess all the three of us right here, yeah, um, still contain with you know quality and melody and you know music, music, yeah. and um, I think that will prevail over the next couple of years i don't say that the hardest style like the harder hardest style will uh, end or something no i'm it saying it shouldn't end because no, no. we need everything we need hard stuff but i think at the moment there's too much of that so we yeah, need to balance yeah. it out more it's gonna be balanced out because that's the way uh, music works you know yeah. it evolves and you can't stop it true and i didn't know five years ago where we were and mm-hmm. uh I, do, I don't think you know where you were i have no fucking idea oh, no. five years no i don't no, know no. so no. i don't know where we're gonna be in five years but hopefully we're gonna be here still rocking bigger it. louder louder bigger you know? better louder bigger better louder all right man uh renee i want to ask you to go to the booth because i think people want to hear you play and i'm gonna give you a fucking intro you never had before wow. i'm gonna try ladies and gentlemen it's time for the guest mix by the one and only digital Pop. Choose one! 
Six million ways to die. I try all of them. <laughs> to talk about drums, or rather about a particular drum beat. This particular drum beat, here's what it sounds like. I'm sure you've heard it dozens of times before. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. scene there explodes, with musicians and DJs who used samplers to produce hardcore techno, raga jungle, and hard style.
born homicidal You can't touch the ground Laying down on the ground You're facing the dirt It's time to get hurt You scream in my name As I bring you the pain
hell's gates I feel the ground shake But it's not moving me Fuck y'all, I want it all
at me strange, but I just don't care. Step up in this motherfucker with my Drake in the air. Take the 
Life in the mix on Weird the Night Read episode 21. This was Digital Pop! Thanks for coming by, man. Much appreciated. We have one more question from one of our listeners. Thijs? Yeah. Uh, actually, a lot of listeners. Okay, a lot uh, of listeners. And it's a pretty deep one. Yeah. The question is, do you adapt or die? Ah, uh, yeah. I've seen this. <laughs> I've seen this. But you can't ask the master <laughs> who made this adapt or die. You understand? Why not? I'm still here. Uh, we are the night breed. We, yeah, ask, I, everything. I, I, we um, ask everything. We ask everything. I, um... The answer is both. Right. Both, actually, but yeah. I don't die. Okay. I'm still here, but I don't adapt too. Digital Punk never dies. <laughs> <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this episode of We Are The Night Breed. We Are The Night Breed is available as an official iTunes podcast. Go to iTunes, search for We Are The Night Breed and subscribe yourself. Of course, the show will also be available on the Night Breed YouTube and SoundCloud accounts. And don't forget to follow the official We Are The Night Breed playlist on Spotify for the hardest hardstyle tracks of the moment. That's it for this month. We are on Demian and Digas. Thanks for joining me today. No problem, man. We'll be back next month with a brand new episode of We Are The the Night Breed. We are the Night Breed.